Hey, my friends, and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. So we have learned about the advanced control flow, and we talked about the when expression. And by the way, we are talking about a when expression, and we have said about it as an expression. So expressions will be returning a value. Let's discover the returning values of when expression. You can also give your when expressions more than one branch. And due to the fact that when is an expression, you can use it to return a value, just like you can with if expression. You can also ignore the value if you want to just use when as a statement, as we have seen in the previous video. A when expression will return a value from the first branch with a matching argument. If you want to determine the name of the number, you can assign a value with a when expression, exactly like that we are going to do here. Okay, so I will assign a number, a number name equal to when expression, so I am using a number here, I'm passing a number, and uh, I will create a val number here equal to nine, okay? I am making a, a, a constant here and assigning it to a when expression, and when, when we have a when expression, it will return a value and i am going to store this value of the returning value of the when expression inside number name constant okay so for that it may be sometimes complex but uh, you should understand it i will return to three Three five and nine. Okay, and else print. print ln unknown num okay this else else and print ln i need to print the number name okay so what we have done i have created a val a number equal to 9 and I have created a val number name, which will be a returning value of the when expression. So it will give two or three or five or nine or unknown number. This, these are the possibilities and the returning type of a when expression. And they are going to be stored inside number name. And then we are going to print the, the number name value. Let's run and see. And here we go, guys. We have nine. So we have passed nine number and it checked it from here. It will return it as a string. So number name, think about it now is equal to nine like this. Okay. And we are printing it just as a normal variable or constant okay so this is the importance of the returning type of the when expression okay uh, these are the com the common things that we have uh, to do with the when expression and we can make it more and more complex 
and later on in the expressions and the exercises and the next videos we are going to make it more and more complex so be ready rate us five stars to continue making this course the biggest course on the earth talking about Kotlin and we are going to solve the Kotlin exercises thank you guys see you next videos